All right, hi everybody. Dr. Petrie here, hoping to show you how to use paperrater.com in order to uh, improve your writing and make sure you are clear with your citations. So for this assignment, uh, students are doing a speech, and this speech is about 80% plagiarized. I went to five websites, I cut and pasted the first paragraph from each website into this document, the only pay, uh, paragraph that contains original text is this one right here, uh, and then I am going to now uh, cut and paste it and run it through Paper Raider. So what I do is I select the text. You can see my bibliography at the bottom, but right now I'm just selecting the text, and then I'm going to switch back to Chrome, and I'm going to go to paperrader.com. I'm going to click on Use Now for Free, and then I'm going to analyze my paper. So I scroll down to here, and I'm going to paste my text in. Whoops. put my cursor here, control paste, and then I'm going to go back to Word and type in my bibliography. So I'm going to also copy my bibliography right here, and I'm going to paste those into the works cited. Um, then next, I'm going to select my education level. I am a ninth grader. I'm going to say that this is a speech or a presentation and then the other thing I want to indicate is I want the slower originality detection and I'm going to agree to their terms and services I'm leaving it on American English and then I click get report the computer thinks for a minute Wow, what a good writer this student is. I can't wait to give them a very high grade. And here's your report. So you can, you have the choice of either reading it here, section by section, or what I'm asking you to do is click on Printable Summary Report. And it is going to tell you uh, that only 20% of your paper is original. A lot of it is plagiarized, which we knew. Uh, and it also tells you the websites where you may have gotten the plagiarized content. Uh, the spelling was good. The grammar was good. It looks for repeated phrases or bad phrases. And on this, because it was written by professionals for websites, we got a very high score. In fact, we did better than 98% of the people in the ninth grade. So we would have gotten a high score there. And then when you look at the number of transitional phrases, we got a 65, which is pretty good. We did equal or better than 60% of the ninth graders. And here are the lists of the transitional phrases that we could use and where we could use them if we wanted to resubmit and increase our score. Then it looks at your sentence length and it defines long sentences as ones that have 35 words or greater and short sentences as ones that have 17 words or greater. And we did uh, pretty well here. Um, we had about 21 and a half words per sentence. Then it looks at our vocabulary. We got a good score, 96, which is better than 97% of the people in our education level. Promoted, martial, graduated, offensive, insubordination. These are all the vocabulary words that it flags. And then finally, we got a grade of 92%. So this is all very good, but how do I get it to my teacher? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to go to print. And then you're going to save it as a PDF. So what I do, or if, if I can, I hit print right here. And did that send it to my printer? It did. Uh, okay, so that's printing out a, a copy for me, but uh, on my printer. 
Um, you don't have to print out a copy and bring it to me. You can, in most operating systems, simply make it a PDF. So this says Open PDF and Preview. I'm going to click there. I'm using Macintosh for this. Here is my four-page report. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that report as my Paper Raider Preview. I'm just going to save it to my desktop here. Click. And then when I go back to my email, I can go to my Gmail. I can hit the Compose button. Everything takes so longer when you're making the video because that uses a lot of bandwidth. I'm going to attach the file, the report, and for that I go to my desktop and I look for my preview of Paper Raider. There it is. I attach it and then I am going to uh, send it to Scott M. Petrie at gmail.com. In my subject line, I'm going to say period one, Petrie, Scott. So it will be easier for me to get graded. And then I just hit send. And it goes away. And I have now fulfilled my obligations for this assignment. Um, my paper rater report is done. And then tomorrow you will sit with me. We will look at your report. And we will come up with an action plan for how do we make this paper better. And you have all of this week to improve your speeches and get a better grade before I give you a final grade on this next Monday and we start doing speeches. So thanks again for all your hard work and I'll see you in class.